This morning, we learned that Brian Krasanich, the former CEO of Intel, who had to step down over the summer for violating the company's anti-fraternization policy, has now a new job. He's the CEO of CDK Global. This is a company that makes software for auto dealerships and adjacent industries. I think they made a good call with this hire. CDK needs someone like Krasanich to write the ship, just like he did at Intel, frankly, because the company just reported a big shortfall and lowered its full-year guidance. Oh, man, they need Krasanich. Now, earlier this week, we had a chance to check in with Brian Krasanich and hear about this new role that he has running CDK Global. Take a look. All right, Brian, when we last caught up with you, you were at a $200 billion semiconductor company. Now you're going to a company that is less than $10 billion, but is a huge part of the auto chain. Why this company and how can you reinvent it? Because it only had 1% growth last year. So, I mean, first, CDK is an exciting company. It is the platform that is driving the automotive industry. And it, it is truly, you and I have talked about software as a service and data driven. It, it currently serves about $500 billion a year in automotive commerce, uh, 28,000 dealerships, one to two terabytes of data a year. And so that's really exciting to me. It's got a great core business existing, but a huge opportunity to grow as we really modernize the automotive industry. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because I recently helped my daughter buy a car. And one of the reasons why she wanted to, after she looked it up on her cell phone, of course, yep. was that she said, Dad, it's going to be just like you uh, when you bought it in 1977. Brian, it was exactly like it, despite the fact that almost everything else is digitized. They say that they're very computer savvy, but it's not digitized. It, it's not. And currently, 90% of people already do all the research on the internet prior to showing up to that dealership. But the minute you cross that sidewalk and enter the dealership, all of that experience that we're used to, an app-like experience on the phone, just stops. And now it's paper-driven, it's driven by, by many more people, you're handed off. And that's an opportunity, the way I look at it, is it's an opportunity to really bring that same innovation that we see in many other commerce areas into this area. What has been the resistance? I say that because CDK is a remarkable company because, you know, there's, it's seven out of the top ten dealer groups use them. So, I mean, obviously everybody wants things to be easy. We all want our time. But there must be some internal resistance that makes it so that they're not as digitized. You know, you know, change takes two things. One, it takes a company that can really innovate and bring that technology. It takes a vision to do mm -hmm. that. I mean, that's really why I'm joining the company, is to help bring that vision of, of what could be done. And then it, it takes usually one or two leaders to really lead the pack and show the way that it can be done. And that takes a relationship and trust and, and building that, that uh uh, community. And so I, I think that's what we're going to work on over the next year or two. Now, this is a spinoff of Automatic Data, another company. We have loved Automatic Data forever. It's been a fantastic performer. Automatic Data moved very aggressively into the cloud. Uh, how much of this business, because it, it is really in the cloud right now, how much can be? It, it, it's already really in the cloud. That's that one to two terabytes of data okay. a day that's going through there. That's, that's considerable. But there's more opportunity when you when you take a look at the experiences that we all have and to expand beyond that. But you know, like you said, when you go into the dealership, how much of that data is still on paper versus we can extract it into the cloud? I, to me, it seemed like that the whole thing was on. Like it, and, and what we have to show the dealers is that it's really going to make them better, that it can actually make them more efficient, that they can serve the customer better, and, the, and they can actually be more profitable as a result of this. Now, uh, when I look at what they do, it would apply not to just to buying a car. I mean, it could be repairs, uh, ad solutions. I mean, all this, the selling proposition, all this can be done, as far as I'm concerned, by push technology. I want a Twilio push. I want it organized so that I get it on my, my thing. I, I don't want to have to beg to have a car pick me up from the dealership and take me home after I drop my car. Can you end that? You, you bet. And there's multiple ways to go do that. One is to use one of the ride sharing services to, to give you a discount to automatically go take you to and from the dealership uh, and, and have that be part of the process. But it's the whole thing about linking you to your car, really, through your phone, through your, your technology. You know, you, when do you take your car into for repair? It's usually either when the light goes on or, or when something doesn't work. And what we really need to do is really connect you and make it proactive and say, hey, we think we see things going on. Why don't you bring your car in? Here's an Uber to get you back home. 
all of that kind of activity. Well, that certainly should catch up. Now, I know you as a car guy because I applauded the Mobileye acquisition at Intel, and you were telling me about in Israel they were driving around. It was all mobile cars. They were doing it right on the street. We're not there yet, are we? No, we're not there. I'm still a firm believer that autonomous vehicles are the future, and, and my children's children won't drive. But that's another place where CDK can really play a key role. The dealerships are going to need to interact with those autonomous cars, bring them in for service. Some of them are going to be kind of leases that you okay. do. And CDK, again, that platform can easily transition into that space as well. Okay, and I do need to know just a little bit about Intel because we loved you there. And you did such a remarkable job. And you said it on the greatest course. It's been a fantastic stock. Was there any way, I know you had the violation of the non-fraternization policy, but is there any way you could have stayed there? You know, it's... It's just as, as was reported, right? We, the board and I agreed that it was the right time for me to just retire. And, and this gives me a chance to, I've spent the last few months really thinking about what I want to do next. And but it's been really good yeah, for me. Again, I am going to say, though, that you, I mean, I, it seemed like a retroactive situation and y you did a great job. I know, you know, I want you to stay, but I guess. In, Intel is set on a great course and it's a great company and I have 100% faith in it. Uh, and it was just the right time for me to go ahead and retire and, and do something else. Now, there are probably millions of opportunities that you could do. And you could do also, you know, you could do charity. You could do, you know, love oh, academics because, yeah. you know, you are a academic, but you're also, I remember from Reddit, you're a gamer. I mean, why CDK? How many different opportunities did you look at and why this you know, I, I spent time with Andy Bryant after I you left. You did? And he, Smart guy. he made me commit that I wouldn't do anything till like September, November. That, okay. that I needed time to really take a look at the opportunities. Okay. And I looked far and wide and I had many, many opportunities. It came down to two things. One, CDK was uniquely positioned, and you and I have talked about SaaS businesses sure. and data. And that was a unique. They have a core business that's great, and I believe a huge opportunity to grow. Second, automotive industry. I have a passion for the automotive industry. Do. And I wanted to get engaged in the business today. Okay. And that was a chance to go do that. One somebody. last question. I met you at a dinner with Elon Musk. Yes. And they have a very different model. Is that one that could ever be a CDK could offer, or is it just really gonna, you're going to stay with the verticals the way the industry is now? No, I think that there will be more Tesla-like models across the world where there are, are companies out building those And cars. CDK can be a part of it? And CDK can absolutely be a platform that drives that uh, commerce. Well, I've watched the stock for a long time. I remember when Elliott Partners got involved, and I think it needs that special growth that you could have. It's a lot bigger market than the company size is right now. That's Brian Krasanich. He's the newly announced president and CEO of CDK Global, a stock that we've been recommending, but I think it does. The company needs a boost, and I think Brian's going to give it. It's going to happen. Mad Money's back in. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.